So the way the technique works is, it's more like if you go, you're sick, you go for x-ray. So what you do is you want to understand the interior part of your body by not digging into your body. <laughs> you know, you do, you do the scanning and then you see the inner part of your body. So here we're saying we are the geophysicists are radiologists of the mining industry. So what you do is you've got vaporized tracks on the surface, you send your waves to the ground and you've got your receivers and your waves will reflect where there's a contrast between your seismic density, your, your density and your seismic velocities. And then you analyze the time it took for your waves to go down and come back and that information tells you what's happening at the subsurface of the Earth. There are new acquisition systems that have been developed for acquiring 3D reflection seismic data that have been implemented successfully in the oil and gas industry. For example, now you're able to look at frequencies from like 2 hertz to about 160 hertz. While as before, you could, you were, we had limited frequencies during your acquisition. So what this has brought for the oil and gas industry it has brought high resolution imaging of the, of the oil and gas reservoirs. And if you're taking this to the mining industry, you could understand the structural complexity of your ore board is much better. The cross-cutting relationship between the structures and also the minor features that you do not see with your traditional 3D reflection seismic method. So in terms of also understanding the compartment, because the oil reservoirs, they compartmentalized by structures. You know, if you go to the mining industry, your oil body will have these structures that have small vertical displacement that you cannot see with traditional exploration techniques that you'll be able to see and also identify the areas that are mineable and areas that are not mineable. So I think the new techniques that have been implemented in oil and gas should be used successful, successful in the gold mining industry. The modeling techniques have been developed uh, recently and there's so much going on in terms of technology. And um, we should remember that the scale between oil and gas and hard rock, it's, it's different, but the physics is the same. So if you do your acquisition, your exploration using reflection seismic, the technique is the same. You get your waves reflected at the subsurface where there is a contrast in density of velocity. So now, in terms of modeling, there are so many complexes when you try to model structures that you cannot incorporate with your traditional um, modeling softwares. For example, if you've got cross-cutting structures, sometimes with your modeling software, when you reach the end of the structure, it dies out and you cannot extend it. You need that information ahead of mining. You want to understand the whole 3D visualization of your structures. So there are softwares, for example, Petra, which has been developed by Slamberger. So it allows you to actually put these structures together with borehole data, 3D seismic, and many more other data like methane data set in one space. Then you can actually model them in a way that you can develop a robust and a reliable model ahead of mining, or if you extend your mining area. So you should know exactly the continuity, the cross-cutting relationship, and the bifurcation of your structures because that should be very important. For example, let's say you've got one structure carrying methane. If they cross cut, it's likely that the structure will transmit methane to another structure. So you need to understand the structural complexity of these structures by using a very good sophisticated modeling tools to do that. Yeah. Now I'm a lecturer at VETS. I'm teaching geophys exploration geophysics. Um, my main expertise are in 3D reflection seismic. So the big Big, big, big uh, goal for me is to develop a 3D reflection seismic center at VETS, which will act as a hub for African research when it comes to seismic. And um, we've spoken to different companies. Uh, CGG has contributed, has put a seed fund toward um, this developing this research center. We're currently speaking to Shell. Also, they're keen to actually support this research center. What we're trying to do here is to attract a smart South African students from mathematics, from applied math, from computer science, from engineering, 
to be part of this lab, to work on their MSCs and PhD, to be part of this lab in terms of now, not relying on the softwares, but developing our own algorithms to meet the needs of the industry, both oil, gas, and hard drugs industry, platinum and gold mines. You know, because I see a gap in South Africa. We need people who are highly qualified to actually develop um, our own algorithms in order to in contribute very highly in terms of research. You know, so that's my goal. So, so far things are going well. We'll be the lab at VET and we will attract good students. And also we do need a lot of help from industry in terms of funding this because I think it's the future for our research.